thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. For those of you new here, hi, my name is Chip Beauty, and welcome to my channel. Now for today, we're not really going to be doing a makeup tutorial. I know, I know, so, so sad. But today, actually, we are going to be experiencing our first ever makeup haul. Now for those of you who don't know what a makeup haul is, it's kind of when you buy or receive a bunch of makeup and you just want to like share the wealth. You don't want to do things like a small little video for each thing, you just want to all really combine it into one just large big video. So that's what today is. I have a lot of makeup from a dot, from a lot, not a dot, from a lot of different brands and I really want to show you guys what I love about each of these products. So let's just jump right into the video. Now, as you guys can see from behind me, I have two boxes full of makeup. This one's obviously a bit bigger than this one, but in these two boxes, they are full of makeup. Now, I'm not going to be going over every single little makeup because a lot of them are small little eyeshadows and lipsticks. I really don't want to be all finicky and all nitpicky with them, and it'll just take forever to do that. So, for this video, I'm just going to be doing the highlights, really. Now, we'll start with this box. This is not all from LA Colors. It's just an LA Colors box, but as I showed you guys, these are a lot of different eyeshadows. Okay, guys, so the first eyeshadow that I'm going to be showing you guys is the Crystal Baller. We got three of them, so I don't mind going into all detail with this one. So the first one I'm going to be doing is, oh, slippery little suckers. That's my, that's my pretty little woman. If you guys haven't seen that movie, go watch it. It's amazing. That's my third. Okay, so this color is called Disco Inferno Glitter. It definitely lives to a name because it is pure glitter. This is something you would obviously wear for like maybe a party or something fancy. Not an everyday thing. If this is your everyday look, fine. Do you. This, it ain't my thing. At least not everyday. I will definitely break that color out like a party or something else. Now this one is called Buy You a Drink. I love this name, and I really love this color. This is something I would probably wear, not on an everyday basis, but like if I have a really fancy outfit I'm wearing to school, I want my eyes to pop, I'll definitely use this. Look how glittery, sparkly all that is. Ooh, it's like all over my hands. So the next and final color from the Crystal Baller is the In The Club eyeshadow. Let me just say, love all these names. So yeah, it's a very sparkly, like uber uber sparkly, and it's really a rainbow color. I can't tell you guys can see it that well, but it's very rainbow, very out there. So again, I wear this for Halloween, anything party, not an everyday look. Like maybe once in a blue moon we'll wear this outside to school, but for me, nah. This is not trash. This is just my basic opinion, and if you love that color, you want to wear it every single day, go out, wear it every single day. Do you. i just saying, for me, that's not something I would be doing every single day, as you guys can probably tell. Okay, guys, so the next product that I got was the OPV Beauty London. I got all these eyeshadows, this cushion guys is my favorite. This first one is called Sun Up. It's a very bright orange, as you guys can tell. Again, I might do this like to highlight my inner corners if I'm going to do like a sunset look. I don't believe I'll be doing this every single day. This is like a very wow, pop, throwing your face eyeshadow look, like a very bright eyeshadow that I think can be good for sunset, that can be good for if you want to do dark and dramatic and whimsical, but definitely not an everyday look. The next one is called Abundant. It's this very very mute blue with Sterry, very pronounced. I would not use this every single day, and I would only use this for very cute looks that I'd probably be wearing to a party. Not every day because blue does not wear it. I do like the color blue, but I, very, I find it very hard to work with my skin tone, and just to do a blue eyeshadow every single day is not my kind of thing. If it's yours, buy this. It's beautiful, I love it, but I just won't be wearing it every single day. But I will be using this product to show you guys tutorials about how to do certain blue looks. So it's definitely a YouTube must have, just not wear every single day. The next one is the Gala. I would probably use this, not every single day, but definitely on the school. I would use this to like really shine out my lid because it's a very sparkly and very cute pink color. 
try to show you guys what it looks like. It's a very sparkly pink. It's a very cute color, so definitely every day. Like, Mike. It depends on the outfit, but definitely when we wear this to school, wear this out. Definitely cute. An everyday thing. This next one is by no means every day. This is strictly Halloween only. I mean, God, this is bright. It's this huge bright green. It is called Rapture. So this one is definitely good for Halloween makeup. It's good if you're having a costume party. But I would not wear this every single day. Because it's so bright, it will wash out my entire face. I love the product. This is not a diss. This is just like, you should wear this color if you're going out to Halloween. And if you're going to be just doing something with this color. Not just wearing this out to go on a date or to the movies with your friends. This is kind of like a mute and chill kind of. The everyday is kind of mute and chill. This is like screaming in your face, look at me. I definitely love how bright and pronounced the green is. I just wouldn't wear this every single day. This is called Rapture for those of you who missed it. And again, strictly Halloween, strictly costume party, not an everyday thing. The next thing is another blue. More kind of oceany sky blue. It's called. It doesn't really say. It just says the color is 004. So if you guys go on OP Beauty, it might be there. To tell you guys the name, I don't know where it is, but definitely is a color. It's very bright, very pronounced, very compact. So no, I would not wear this every single day. I would definitely, guys, show you how to. Do, I would definitely show you guys how to do these eye tutorials. I just wouldn't wear this out to school. Blue eyes do not go well for me. So again, YouTube tutorials, party. Girls night out, not an everyday kind of thing. The next one is this very cute shimmer gold. This is an everyday color for me. I love this color. This is called Gratitude. Oh, I thank you. I love this color. It's very bright. It's very sparkly. And you guys know me. I always do a sparkly kind of look onto my eye to make it pop. So this is definitely everyday look for me. I give this one 10 out of 10. I'm not raising everyone, but I'm saying I love this color. And last, but certainly not least, is this. Again, this is a Halloween color. I implore you, don't wear this boat every day. If this is your kind of thing, you want to be popping, you want to be lacking, good, go for it. Me, I will wear this for Halloween costume parties, show you guys how to do this color in the tutorial, but I will not be wearing this every single day. The old me, the middle school me, definitely would have. The high school me that knows better and knows this color will not enhance you the way you think it will. Says that. So again, not a diss, just saying that this color, which is cleverly named purple because it's really pronounced purple, I suggest that you guys buy this. And this is for Halloween parties. Not every day. No, no, no. Okay, so the next product that I got was eyeshadow from So Susan Cosmetics, like this one. This product is called Bloodstruck. Definitely used for Valentine's Day, for date night. Very pink, very glittery, and very off there. So I'm just rubbing it right here. A lot of glitter. Very glittery. You have to be careful with this, or else it'll go all over your face, and no one wants a really pink, glittery face. So I would say for this one, every day, special occasions. Maybe a party, I don't know. Next one I have is the Born Ready. It's a very dark brown, sparkly color. Very well out there. I definitely think this one could be used to highlight your eyes. You're looking for a more darker undertone right here. So maybe an under eye sparkly, or maybe like a top right here, a top corner sparkly. But definitely not for like outer edges because that most sparkle and controlled will just go all over your cheek. Not that cute. So definitely an everyday, on occasion, party kind of thing. Next one we have is the Addicted. It's a yellowish gold color. I definitely say Halloween vibes and with the right outfit choice and the way you can apply it, this can be used every once in a while for an everyday look. 
especially want to embellish your eye in yellow and kind of orange tones like mine. Kind of enhance, not only, really, not enhance, but really, um, the word I'm looking for is make your eyes pop. Yeah, make just your eyes pop. So yeah, every day, kind of look right here. Next we have this very cute, sparkly, um, orange color. It's called Poser. I'm not a poser, but I would definitely wear this color for an everyday look. As you guys know, I kind of like to add a little of pop in the inner corner of my eye every now and then. So this is definitely wear to school, wear out to work, whatever kind of vibe. Next, we have this very bright pink. This is called Playful. I will wear this color, not every day, but because it's not that sparkly, it's more of a matte pink look. I say you can get away with this with the right outfit choice and a very careful hand. So once in a while, definitely for a party and definitely just for coming out with your girlfriends. The next one is this very glossy little green and blue thing. It's called Fresh and it kind of looks the name. When you think of Fresh, you think of nice vibe with greens. I don't, I would not wear this every single day, not to school. Maybe on a wild night with my friends, maybe when I went to a party. Definitely a Halloween vibe-ish but not going to school just to hang out. More like going out with my friends, it's gonna be wild kind of thing. The next one is this very matte purplish. This one I say, it's called Ambitious. This one I say is definitely a Halloween vibe. Again, you're gonna go out with your friends, you're gonna have a party, go out with this. But I have to say, as every day, nah, I can, nah, I don't know about you guys, but me personally, I could not wear this out every single day. So we would definitely have this as a party, as a get out, just not school and work. And my last color is this very sparkly pink. It's called Wild. This is like a Valentine's Day, or just like, again, a wild night out. I know I'm saying that a lot, but it's kind of what I'm thinking when you think of the colors in the So Susan collection. So I'm thinking definitely going out with your friends, having a blast, you know, it's going to be sitting in your pajamas at somebody else's house having a fun. So parties, going out with your friends, and maybe every day, depends on the outfit if you want to pull off with that, depends on the outfit, what you're going to be doing that day, and maybe working if you feel like a little bit bold and a little bit frisky. And like I said, not in this, not really school but definitely I want to be bold out there kind of look. Okay, so I was going to put paper onto the bigger box. Well, the first thing I pulled out was the OPV Beauty Mixing Drops. It's supposed, I didn't know what a mixing drop was, but it's supposed to make your foundation look very naturalist. So what we're going to do is just going to open it. I'm just going to dab a little bit, just a tiny amount onto my hand. Let's see if that's the case. I'm already wearing makeup, I don't want to take it off. Oh wow, it's a very smooth, yeah, it, it makes my skin feel smooth, it's almost like a primer, not exactly, it's meant to really make a nice clean face like a primer, but not exactly the same. It's like a different alternative to a primer. So I gotta say, I definitely like it, I'm gonna try it out in our next video, I will show you guys how I apply it next video but I say again this is obviously an everyday use for anything you want so we'll just be a key to this right here now our next product is from LA girl I got four different mascaras we have a bright blue a purple a ultra black and a turquoise so I'm just gonna try to test these out on my arm right here it's a volumatic Highly build volume, film coating formula, repels, oil, sweat, and tears, lengthens, and lifts our lashes. So this one is the blue. We're just going to kind of see what it looks like inside. Oh yeah. This will turn anybody's eyelashes blue. I'm not going to put this on because I don't want to be looking crazy on film, but we're just going to dab it on my skin here. It's very defined. Very noticeable. So again, this is obviously not an everyday use. This, hey, crazy colors every day, maybe your thing, it's not mine. This will strictly be Halloween and if or ever I ever go to a rave. The key word is if and ever. Probably not, but hey, you never know. Next one is a purple. So if there's anything like the blue one, it will be very pronounced. Very 
very easy to see. It's not really the dull thing. And that's what I kind of like about it. You can really, you can clearly see it. You see a lot of eyeshadows and, not eyeshadows, a lot of hair changing, like chalk and all that, and uh, eyelash stuff. It really doesn't stay. It's really subtle, and you don't want subtle. Uh, for the purple, this Halloween only for me. If you guys want to be um, purpley fantastic, go, go like this girl. Get you those purple lashes. Next we have is a turquoise. I definitely love the color. I wish I was that bold to wear um, turquoise eyelashes, but I'm not, sadly. Oh, this color. I love the color turquoise. The thing is very, very cute. And again, it's like a pop. It's like you can instantly see it. So again, I would say this one is Halloween, raves, parties, not really go to school and work with these kind of colors. The only one, really, that you could wear every day is the black one. I know, so generic, so simple, but it is the only one that you can wear every single day and not look like you're a crazy person. The black, as you guys can tell, very black, very matte. And I think this would be actually, I love the lashes right here. And they look a lot fuller, like the before, the after, so we'll definitely be wearing this in our one of our next videos and we'll be kind of featuring it. Hey guys, here's the box. Here's the lipstick inset box. Now I know you guys do not want to see me swatch these out for how many so minutes, because guess what? You got you came to click on this video to see all the new makeup I bought, not to see me swatch each individual little lipstick. That can be time consuming, that can be annoying, so I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to close my eyes, I'm going to pick up five lipsticks, and that's the ones I'm going to be reviewing. For any other lipsticks that you guys might want to see in here, I will be showcasing that on my Instagram. It's truebeauty underscore makeup, for those of you guys who don't know. I will be putting it in the link down below if you guys want to go and copy that and go on Instagram and follow me. Please follow me on Instagram. I love that. I definitely also do small videos and I also post about my videos that I post up here on YouTube. So definitely go and check that out. So now to get on with this video. Dun 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 dun! One. These are the five lipsticks I've chosen. I've chosen, in my opinion, the most flashy of them. So we'll just start off with this one. This is called the Metal Liquid Glitter. It is purple. It's um 14, be glowing. So we're just gonna put this onto my wrist, but I have a bunch of all oh, concealer on it. Who cares at this point? So ooh. Very glittery. And it does speak to its name on a point. It's not as glittery as I thought it was going to be, but it is still very cute. Again, Halloween, going out to a party, going out to a rave, not every day. Though, if purple lipstick is your thing, wear it every day. Be you, girl! Next, we have this sparkly pink. I'm not wearing this every day. All of these to parties, to going out. But definitely not when I'm going to school and not when I'm going to work. If I could just ugh, open it. There we go. Let's just swatch this. It's like the purple one. But a bit more pronounced in my opinion. The next one is called Birthday Sprinkles. Oh, let's see what this looks like. This is like a unicorn. Like, this is what a unicorn wear for her lipstick. It's a purplish pink. I don't get the sprinkles, but definitely is a pop. I would not wear this every single day. I would find it hard for anyone to really wear this because it would be such a bright color to wear on your face. But we'll definitely try to mix. I actually want to challenge myself and we'll try to incorporate this in one of these makeup ones, there we go. And the next one is LA Girl Fuse, Fuse, not Fusa, it is Fuzzy Fuchsia. 
I have such difficulty saying that. Fuzzy fuchsia. It's definitely pronounced. It's a lot more pinkish than red. It's like a pop wow. I think you can use this on an everyday look if you want to be really bold. But beware if you do this, it has a lot of glitter. So it's not just this color. It do, it'll have a bunch of glitter onto it. So be a little bit careful when you apply this on. And the last lipstick I'll be doing is LA Girl Glitter Magic Sunny Silver. It's called Starry Night. This is a purple. Purplish black kind of. Almost like black licorice. Yeah, it's a blue. But it has like a black pronounce on it. I say Halloween parties. No way I'm wearing this every single day. I will, though, for one of these October videos coming up, be featuring a very dark gothic look in for this. So I'm definitely excited to use this for one of these videos. But after that, I have to say, guys, that is it. I believe we are done with this makeup haul. Okay, guys, that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. It means the world to me. Also, come and watch my video. If you guys are subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Become part of the makeup family. You know I love all the subscribers, all four of them. But hey, I love you four each individually. Make sure, guys, you click that subscribe button again. I'm saying it again. Give me a huge thumbs up because you guys know I love that. And make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when I'm posting a video. But just in case, make sure you also click onto that Instagram. Definitely go and check that out. I definitely do a bunch of swatches. I definitely do a bunch of little videos. And I do post on my Insta store quite frequently. Not all the time, but definitely enough for you guys to notice me. So make sure you guys just pop over there to Instagram. Okay, guys, that is it. I will see you guys next week. I am Chief Beauty, and I can't wait to see you guys next week. Bye!